Hello, I'm John Worley from Key Power NHS Public North East and I'm here today to talk about the Trade Bill which is currently going through Parliament. So the NHS is not excluded from the Trade Bill despite Boris Johnson's promise to take the NHS off the table. The dangers to the NHS are now very clear. Firstly, large-scale takeovers by US private companies. Secondly, reduced access to medication. We do know that uh, US politicians have indicated that they want to pressurise the UK to pay more for medication. Thirdly, the harvesting of UK patient data by US firms. And fourthly, the lowering of standards. Lowering of standards in medication, perhaps lowering the numbers of staff, the skills of staff, uh, affecting the working conditions of staff. All these could be lowered to make our NHS more profitable to US corporations. Following the very recent discussions uh, about the Trade Bill in the House of Lords in December last year, the House of Lords have voted in favour of amendments which will protect the NHS and which will ensure the proper scrutiny of trade deals. This is excellent news, very well done House of Lords. However, these amendments now need to be ratified by our MPs in the Commons. Our MPs need, now need to vote in favour of these amendments. And this is where MP Ian Levy comes in. Ian Levy is the new MP for Blythe and we do know that in uh, July last year, July 2020, he did not vote to protect the NHS when the trade bill was first voted on. He now needs to do the right thing. In January 2021, as soon as this uh, bill comes to the Commons, he needs to vote in favour of the NHS and in favour of these amendments. For more information about this, please go to www.kmpnortheast.com. Many thanks. Bye-bye.